Welcome back to Daystation Zebra. I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Rob. And we have some Avengers Empire boosters. We do. Now, we didn't get a case yet. No, our case is still no. in transit due to transit delays. That's right. However, we attended a sealed event, and we decided to buy the last six boosters that were sitting at the store from the brick. That's right. Uh, we don't know what's in them. We are going to see what we're going to do. So we're going to do something a little different. Yeah. This is going to be sealed game A. It's going to be a lower point value, and we're only going to open one booster each. That's right. And well, when we get our cases, we'll start sealed game number one. That's right. So ten. These probably. are three like mini games. That's right. Essentially, just a little warm up before the the fun starts. So um, I'm going to open this booster. Yep. Rob's going to open that one. I got this one. And let's get it going. Okay. How about you go first? All right. Let's do it. So here is my first. Well, not my first sealed booster. My first sealed booster video. Yep. So we said t we're going to maybe look try to do 200 point teams. It'll depend on how many points. We'll have yeah, to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So I got. I will take your cards. Uh, Madam Hydra. Hey, is this a duplicate? Beldon. Brawn. No, not duplicate. Okay. Storm. No, it is. I think this is. No, I didn't get the storm on the last one, did I? I think you did. This was the same as your prize booster that you got. Yeah. So this could be uh, a duplicate. And if you want to take a look at our sealed game wrap up, you will see we just talked about Madam yep, Hydra in that one. We talked about her. And she's the rare. So. Brawn. Interesting. Yep. Okay. All right. So you want to open yours up? Yep. Let's open mine up. So here's mine. And let's break the glue on this. Okay. Oh, got a Loki. I got a Jim Hammond. Oh, I got this booster at the sealed event. <laughs> this is crazy. So there we go. We've seen all of these so characters. I've, yeah, I've got Hulk. I've got Venom Iceman, or sorry, Venom Cyclops. Cyclops. Anome, uh, Jim Hammond Human Torch, and uh, Loki. Okay. So we will build some teams with these. And, and we will be back in just a sec. Yep, we'll be back and we'll set up for a game. We're back. We built some teams. So my team comes in at 195 points. And so does mine. And we're going to go with two actions plus leadership if applicable. Yep. And I have leadership. Mm -hmm, so I have I. leadership on Beldon. Yep. And I have leadership on uh, Madam Hydra. And I have leadership on Human Torch. Okay. So uh, my team, as I said, 195 points. I have a couple of traits that aren't going to trigger because I don't have mm -hmm. other characters that are going to work with that. Mm -hmm. Storm has a rally. Opposing attack rolls for fives. Remove her rally die if you do this turn when a friendly character begins their move within her range. They they have uh, movement through elevation. Is that any character within her range? Any friendly character within her range. Nice. Um, so that's the rally die. Uh, and then uh, that's basically it. Bronze okay. a team player. Okay. So you've got Storm. I have Beldon. Beldon. I have Madam Hydra. Yep. And I have Brawn. Okay. And, okay, so I'm running with, I got Hulk. She-Hulk. Uh, She-Hulk. I got Anome. Mm -hmm. Venom Cyclops. And Human Torch. Um, what do I have to talk about on these cards? Oh, I don't know if you have Mind Control. I don't. Yeah, she has that trait where her She's defense vulnerable. is minus two against mi Mind Control. Yeah. And, of course, we, we got uh, Venom Cyclops here. Plasticity and Super Senses are traded. He has the trait where if an opposing character is within four squares, he cannot be targeted by range attacks. Correct. Okay. And I noticed something about Anome. She has a trait which says, friendly sidekicks using outwit, perplex, or probability control may use it a second time each turn. Um, now, there are no sidekicks on, the, on this team, but Anome is a sidekick herself. And she is friendly, and it doesn't say another friendly, so That's she right. can do it to herself twice. So she has Outwit all the way down her dial, so I'm going to say we can use Outwit twice with that. I'd like you just to put a target on her back. Okay. It'll make life a little easier. A little red dot following yep. her around? Yep. Awesome. So we're going to roll off. We are. And we're no going to see who sets up first. I got a five. Ten. Okay, so I guess you get to set up first. Uh, I do. Here comes my people. Okay. So we are on Iron Man's Workshop Indoor. Yep. We haven't played this one in a while. Yeah. Or possibly ever. I don't know if we've ever played on this map. I think we've played on the other side of it. Anyway, um, I'm going to set my people up. So my starting area is over here. Yep. Mine and is over here. And I'm setting up Brawn. So. Um, stealth. Or stealth. Madam Hydra. She has stealth. So this map, we chose randomly, and we chose which end randomly, just for yep. fun. And there's some... 
blocking over here, which is the big Hulkbuster armor, mm -hmm. and you've got some blocking over in your corner opposite your starting area. That's right. And we've got this elevated portion across the the sides here, this one, this, this side and this side. Yep. And we have some hindering all around in the center area here. Mm -hmm. Now this ring in the center, which might be hard to see on camera, but it is um, outlined in white, which is a, a previous piece of terrain they used to put on maps called obscuring, I think. That's right. And they have now changed it. There's no more obscuring on, on new maps. So this is going to be considered um, hindering. That's right. And that is in the um, WizKids rules forum. Mm -hmm. So there's some clarifications of the new rules. Yep. And I am going to set up over in this corner. Uh, oh, I guess I should put my people on their starting dials. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, Rob. Yeah. Okay, so I'm all set up for those two. And so you are over there by the car. I'm by the white car, I'm by the yellow car, lots of fancy cars in Iron Man's workshop. Yeah. Which does not surprise me. Because he's kind of a car head. What do you call them? Gearheads? A gearhead? Okay, I'm set up. Petrol head if you're in the UK. Yeah, true. So, <laughs> okay, uh, objects? Um, objects, yes. I'm going to put, oh, you're putting objects there, are you? I will put uh, objects here. Interesting. And I will, hmm, perhaps I will also put one here. Okay. Okay, good, good luck. luck. Let's play some hero clicks. Yep. Woo! Okay, uh, so I get three actions because I have leadership. Mm-hmm. And Storm can fly. I know that surprises absolutely nobody. So she can fly 10 and she has stealth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So she can go that far. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to put her. I'm like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So uh, do any of your people have improved targeting through hindering? Uh, so I'm going to place Storm there, and I'm going to place Beldon right behind her, because she carried her. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I guess Storm is going to need an action token. And then I've got Brawn. He can go 10. I'm on the lower level. You're on the upper level, That's right? That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to here with Brawn. And then Madam Hydra is going to go 8. She can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to there. And right. that is my turn. Okay. All right, well, it's my turn. And I get three actions because of leadership. Yep. And... I had a bit of a plan, however, because of the placement of your opening move, I'm going to change my plan. That's why I never plan my opening move when I go second. Yeah. So I'm going to take a Nome. I'm going to give her a costed move. Okay. She's going to come to here. All right. One, two, three, four. And she has a range of uh, five. One, I guess, oh, what is minimum six, though, isn't yep. it? Okay, but she wants to be in hindering anyway. One, two, three four, five. All right. So she has outwit, mm -hmm. which we've established she can use twice. Yep. She's going to outwit uh, Beldon's uh, toughness. Okay. And also let's outwit leadership. All right. Um, so we, so that's that. And then Venom Cyclops is going to do a running shot. Um, Venom Cyclops has a move of nine, which, so can go five. which goes to five. One, sorry, I can't do that. One, two, three, Four. Actually, hold on. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So coming to here. And he's shooting on Beldon. Yep. And I'm one, two, three, four. I'm within four of your people, which means Venom cannot be targeted with range, with range attacks yep. on your turn. So you've outwitted toughness and mm -hmm. you've outwitted leadership. So I am uh, se 17 plus hindering, which yep. would make you an 18. That's right. And Venom... Cyclops is an 11 attack, so I need a 7. That's right. Okay. 
So let's see how this goes. Let's get the camera in there, just for fun. Okay, so let's see what happens here. And I missed. You did, but it was a great plan. It was a great plan. Yeah. It did not come together, however. Okay, so um, we will go back to see what my other people are going to do. Human Torch is going to carry She-Hulk. And we're going to go... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go here. Okay. He's going to put his friend She-Hulk over here. Mm -hmm. And that is my turn. All right. Well, I still have leadership on Madam Hydra, mm -hmm. so let's give that a roll. And that fails, so there's no leadershipping this turn. Uh, all right, so you have placed uh, your Venom Cyclops within four of my peoples. I have. But conveniently, I can move them. So I am going to start with Storm. She is going to move... She can go eight. One, two, three, four... She's going to go to here. Straight ahead move. Okay. Okay. Um, now, Beldon. Can I read the trait again? I just want to make sure. You have the Beldon card. Oh, sorry. Uh, Venom Cyclops. Oh, Venom I mean. Cyclops, yeah. So, all right. So, if I running shot and I'm no longer within lo within five, can I target him? I would think so. If okay. Venom Cyclops is within four squares of the line of fire or an opposing character. Yeah. So, Kay. you can do that. So Beldon has running shot, which was not outwitted. Mm -hmm. She can move four. One, two, three, four to here. Yep, and that's five squares away from Venom Cyclops. That is five squares away from Venom Cyclops, and she has a range of six. Okay. It's not hindered. He does have ESD. Yeah. So it's going to be a 10 on a 19, but it is penetrating. <laughs> so if I hit, it could be good. It could be good. So come on, dice. That's a five. Okay. So it misses, but it was worth a shot. Yep. Uh, okay, so that's that. And then for my last action, uh, Braun over here is going to charge on Jim Hammond. Mm -hmm. He's going to go one, two, three. He's going to pick up this uh, garbage can. Four, five. Yeah. And he's going to use the garbage can. I got Jim Hammond too close. I meant to actually just go to square 11 there, but... Anyway. I so miscalculated. He, that's too bad. So Braun has traded close combat expert. Mm-hmm. So he is going to be a, as I throw him over the map, 12 mm -hmm. on Jim Hammond's 17, 17 with 5 damage, because he's got close combat expert in the object. Poor Jim Hammond. That's what? Poor, oh, well, I'll have to hit after roll 5. He might get crushed here. That's a 6. Okay. 5 damage. Um, yeah, I think you, 1, 2, 3, 4. He's gone. Wow. Good job. Thank you. Um, so that means the rest of his thing won't come into play. Okay. Because he has a thing that says when he hits, until your next turn, each hit character gains immobile. Okay. And modifies defense minus one, but he's dead. So. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I will clear Madam Hydra, mm -hmm. and I will pass turn to you. Okay. Let's see what oh I wait, can do here. Sorry, one thing. One more thing. Um, Braun has outwit. Okay. Can I outwit something on? Absolutely. Can I outwit charge? <laughs> yep. On She-Hulk? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, that's that. Um, now i got to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. All right. So, I have to... I lost my leadership. So That was I part of my evil plan. I only have two actions that I can do this turn. Um, so... Let's figure out what I'm going to do. I think what I'm going to do is um, Anome is going to sidestep to the other hindering square here. Mm -hmm. And then Venom Cyclops is going to running shot onto Beldon. Okay. So, so she sidesteps. We're going to outwit Beldon's leadership and Beldon's toughness. Okay. And then Venom Cyclops is going to get in nice and, well, closer. So it's going to, let's, um, 
let's running shot to here. I want to keep them spaced apart just in case you have some some uh, I, I do have energy, energy explosions. <laughs> it's on storm though and she's double token. Actually maybe I'm just going to go into this square. Yeah. Two, three, four. That's good. So he running shots to there. Mm -hmm. And he is going to attack Beldon. It's going to be 11 on 17. Okay. Alright, let's see. I need a 6. Um, yeah, okay. That is a 10. That is a 10 with two 5s. So Storm can load up on the rallies. I can. And I have no probs, so there's nothing I can do about that. So that's going to be 3 points on Beldon. Yep. Shall I pass you the figure to Please do the honors? Do. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so she still has toughness, which is outwitted. Mm -hmm. She no longer has running shot. She has, uh, instead she has sidestep, mm -hmm. and she has enhancement. Okay. So now, um, because you outwitted She-Hulk's charge. charge, I can't, I can't charge on Brawn. Brawn has two tokens anyway. Mm -hmm. um, however, she does have a move of 10, so I'm just going to straight up do a move just a full move. Okay. And I'm going to pick up this object on the way. Mm -hmm. So one picks up this object. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, right up to Beldon. Yep, right up to Beldon. That's accosted. And Anome is going to clear. Mm hmm. And uh, that's going to be my turn. I pass to you. With Beldon's leadership outwitted again, and yep. Madame Hydra not having anyone adjacent to her because Braun made a super awesome turn, mm -hmm. uh, there's no leadership to do. However, we are going to try and break away sidestep with Beldon. Okay. And that fails. So uh, that's fine. So I think what we're going to do is... Well, I mean, I could just try and swing, but my two damage is going to be soaked by your impervious mm -hmm. on She-Hulk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a costed move with Madam Hydra. She can go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Putting her right up next to Venom Cyclops. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there, I'm going to outwit. What can I outwit? He's double tokened. He has super senses on his trait. Yeah. I'm also not, plasticity. I'm not going to hit him. Oh, um, on She-Hulk. I'm going to outwit Impervious Yep. on She-Hulk mm -hmm. so that Beldon can try and get some damage to her. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. So it's going to be a tall order. I'm going to need a nine. Nine, nine versus 18. Yep. So I need a nine. And that's only a five. Mm -hmm. These dice are not doing very well for me. Are they going to Dice Spa? They are going to the Dice Spa. <laughs> Um, as we uh, recently learned from Marlin, my dice That's don't right. go to dice jail they like go to, yours. Mine right. go to the dice spa. That's right. Mine so go to jail, and if they keep misbehaving, they get melted down to new dice. Yeah. So uh, mine just go to dice spa. Uh, so Storm will clear. Yep. And Brawn will clear. And that will be my turn. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do then is, um, I guess, a Nome is going to outwit... Beldon's toughness, and she will take a shot. Okay. So she will be nine on your sixteen. Yep. Right? Nine okay. on sixteen. Okay. Ranged attack from a seven. That's only a five. Our dice are not doing so well today, Rob. They are not. Okay. So I guess she Hulk's just gonna have to take a swing. Now she has close combat expert. She does. Um. So and you outwitted my be, toughness, right? Yep. It's going to be 12 against your 16. So you need a 4. You need a 4. Let's see if these dice can fail me. Nope. Look, I got a 6. There's another 5, a, though. You got a 5 out of it. Storm's rally die isn't super awesome. So that's 4 points from She-Hulk. Okay. I think that kills her. Or him. I have a feeling it might. Uh, 1, 2. She's KO'd. Okay. And Venom Cyclops will clear. And uh, Storm has stealth which means a Nome cannot do any outwitting on her, right? That's correct. Okay. So that is my turn. 
we're going to try the future foundation days. Okay. See if those ones roll a little better for me. Sounds interesting. So first, um, Madam Hydra has poison. Yeah. So she would like to poison Venom Cyclops. Okay. So he will take a click of damage. He has no reducer right now. However, on click two, he has toughness. Okay. Um, I will now... He has traded super senses. He does. I'm going to outwit the super senses. Okay. And I'm going to make an attack. 11 on 18. Yep. So I need a 7. That's a 9. You got a 9. So that's 3 points, less your toughness. Yep. So he takes 2 more clicks. 1 and 2. So now he has ESD again with running shot. Okay. Uh, I am going to bring in Brawn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm, okay. Coming up to here. Yeah. Full on ten move. I'm gonna take the fire extinguisher with me. Yep. You're still. I'm stealing your fire extinguisher. So that's a move. And then for my last. Oh, so then he's going to outwit. Running shot on. Oh, that doesn't matter because he'd have to break away. Uh, I'm gonna do that anyway. Bronze going to outwit running shot on Venom Cyclops. Yep. Uh, that way we can't risk him breaking away, and he has to focus on Madam Hydra, who's a 20 defense right now. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, do I want to do that, or do I want to outwit Impervious on She-Hulk and try with Storm? That's another option. Let's outwit Impervious on She-Hulk instead. Yep. Okay. That's so from... From Bronze. Yeah. Okay. So Venom Cyclops still has his running shot. Okay. She's going to try and hit She-Hulk. It's 10 on 18. Okay. <laughs> That's only a, five. a five. Okay. 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 Uh, that is my turn. Madam Hydra did not do anything, so she clears. I thought she moved. No. Oh, she, no, oh, she attacked. She, she attacked. attacked. Yeah, Never yeah. mind. She, she attacked. attacked. Right. I'm short a character. That's why I'm confused. Yeah. And turn to you. Okay. So what is on that special damage power from Madam Hydra? Is it leadership... Uh, it is leadership and outwit. And outwit. And she's got an 18 right now. She's a 20 because she's got combat reflexes. Oh, okay. And also, um, Brawn has an 18, right? Yes. Brawn is an 18 tough. Okay. And he has close combat expert and outwit on his special damage power. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is a Nome is going to sidestep. Okay. She's going to sidestep over to this hindering square. Mm -hmm. And she has line of sight on Brawn. Line of fire. Line of fire. And I'm just going to verify that that is correct with the laser level. And she is going to outwit his toughness. Okay. And she will take a shot. She has a range five. Okay. She's going to shoot on Brawn. All right. So Brawn's an 18. Yeah, I need a nine. Oof. Let's see what happens. Come on, Onome. That's only a four. All right. I think these dice are going to take a little rest. Mm -hmm. You mean they're going to dice jail? They're going to dice jail. We're going to take the future foundation dice for the next one. Okay. So, um, she... Okay, so Venom Cyclops has improved targeting, which uh, he can shoot while adjacent. Like range attacks? Range attacks yep. while adjacent. And he has two targets. Mm -hmm. So he's going to target both Madam Hydra and brawn. Okay. So if that's the case, does that mean I don't get my close combat reflexes? That's right, because okay. it's a ranged attack. Okay. Yep. Um, so he's a 10 against 18s. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's a 6. I can't hit today. Well, I mean, you did take out Beldon. Yeah. So my second outwit from Nome. Mm-hmm. I'm going to outwit Bronze's entire damage power, which is going to be the close combat expert and outwit. Yep. And then She Hulk will clear. Yep. As I knock down your storm. And that is my turn. Okay. I'm assuming Venom Cyclops has plasticity. He does. Okay. On his trait. So I still have outwit on Madam Hydra. Yeah. Madam Hydra can still see uh, Madam She Hulk. Yes. So we're going to outwit the Impervious. Okay. We're going to start with Brawn. Yep. He's going to do 11 on 18. Yep, close Any attack. Close attack. He's going to use the object. Okay, makes sense. Uh, um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, hold on. Let me see. What's her dial? 
Yeah, you'll need four points to KO her. Okay, so uh, it's 11 on 18. That is a 10. Oh. So that hits for four points. With the object, right? With the objects, yeah. Yeah, you got her. Four points. Okay. Then she's not immobile. She-Hulk is KO'd. Good job. Thank you. I think I'm losing this game, but Kay. that's okay. Uh, so Inome, does she have stealth? No. No, no stealth. So she just gets the buff from being uh, in the hindering, so she'd be an 18. Yeah. Okay. Storm's going to try and take a shot at Anome. Okay. So, uh, oh, energy explosion. Yeah. Energy explosion. She has energy explosion. She does. So she's going to... you still have to overcome his... No, but if I target Anome, then Venom Cyclops becomes targeted automatically. Right, but he's still going to be a 19 because of ESD. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yep. I don't yep. care about that. I killed She-Hulk. I'm good. Yep. But that's how I get away with someone being within four. That's right. Right? Okay. So, energy um, explosion from... Sh actually, no, I don't think so. Um, well, let's read energy explosion. They become targeted. Okay. Within four squares in line of... So, the, the trait says if Venom Cyclops is within four squares in line of fire of an opposing character, he can't be targeted by range attacks. But he becomes targeted because he's adjacent, not because I'm targeting okay. him. Okay, we'll roll with it. Um, does he get... Uh, Shape change or just the super senses? He's got super senses. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with it. I think that might be correct. He becomes targeted. I think so. Okay. We're going to go with that. If we are wrong, viewers, please let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments. I know he will get his super senses if I hit. Right. But he wouldn't get shape change because he's not the original target. All right, because... Oh, hold on a second. Madam Hydra yeah. outwitted impervious. impervious. Okay, but right, and Braun is still being outwitted. Yeah, because it's from Anome. Yeah, so Cyclops still gets the... Yep. Super senses, right. Okay. okay. So Let's I am go going to target Anome with the energy explosion. She yep. is an 18. I am a 10. Venom yep. Cyclops is a 19. Um, that is an 8. So okay. that will hit Anome, but it will not hit Venom Cyclops. Okay. So that's two points on Anome. Yep. Okay. I probably should have just done a straight up attack. One and two. Okay. She is on click number three. She has five clicks in total. Um, I will also poison Venom Cyclops. Oh, yeah. I probably should have done that first. Probably. But. Yeah, because then he had tough toughness. He lost the ESD. Yeah. Dang. But I messed up. Oh, well. So. Okay. It happens. So, uh, Madam Hydra will clear. Yep. And everyone else did a thing. Okay. Well, my options are very limited right now. Um, so, Anome still has the outwit. And will outwit... Um, does she, she doesn't have sidestep anymore. She has a running shot. But she will outwit Bronze Toughness. Okay. And Venom Cyclops will once again target Madam Hydra and Bron. Okay. With a ranged attack. So it's 10 on 18s. Yep. Okay. I got an 18. You did with another 5. Not that I'm going to need it. But. Um, let me see. Um, can I have a quick look? I got to distrib distribute damage. Yeah, so Bronze got a long dial as I drop his card on the floor. Yep. He hasn't been hit yet, I don't believe. So that is Bronze card. Okay. So Bronze got a pretty yeah, pretty big dial. Madam Hydra also has a pretty good dial. Okay. I'm going to do 1 point on Madam Hydra. Yep. And I'm going to do 1 point on Bronze. Okay. Cuz just 2 points. That's all he's sorry. got. Sorry. Oh no, sorry. It's damage 3. So okay. I'm going to do 3 points on Bronze. One on Madam Hydra. Whoa, how are we sorry, getting four? Sorry, sorry. I misspoke. <laughs> Two points on Braun. Okay. One on Madam Hydra. Okay. One on Madam Hydra. And unfortunately, I don't have knockback. Okay. Two points on Braun. Yeah. Okay. And you outwitted toughness, so all that goes through. Yeah, I wish I still had that knockback, because I would have knocked back. I should have tried to do a um, sidestep or running shot breakaway, because mm -hmm. you have plasticity. Actually, he's got side stuff right now. Okay. Give me, I'm smashing all the figures. He didn't have running shot, by the way. No, he so did before. I am going to sidestep breakaway. Okay. He has plasticity, which means I only fail on a one. Right? Like this one right here. Ready? Oh, I got a, a two. two. So I got a successful breakaway. It worked yesterday when we were playing in the sealed game. Mm -hmm. So he will sidestep one and two. Mm -hmm. Pick up this object. Okay. So that he can win the game with it eventually. Ha ha ha. 
No. We'll see. It won't happen. Anome clears. Does she want to use her second outwit? Probably. Um, She's got stealth, so that line of fire is hindered. Oh, true. I, so I can't get that. No. So we're going to outwit bronze damage power. Yeah, so the leadership outwit. Yep, and it's your turn. Okay. Now, we did, determine, we did determine that Anome does not have uh, stealth, right? Right, no stealth. So I can target her. You can. Okay, but I don't think I can. Oh, Madam Hydra has range. Mm -hmm. So she's a sixteen defense with hindering, so it's seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, we'll start. Well, she's the only person that can do anything this turn. Um, oh, I can outwit your outwit from Madam Hydra. Yeah. Yeah. And then. That's right. Then what would come back? Um, every everything on bronze. Yep. Outwit. And combat reflexes. And outwit. Okay, so let's outwit and no maze outwit. Okay. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. I think so. And then I'll have outwit on brawn. Okay. And then let's just make a ranged attack. Mm -hmm. 10 on 17. Right? That's right. So I need a 7. That is an 11, an 11. So that's two points of damage. Mm, I think she's on her last click now. One and two. I don't she have. She is on her last click. I don't have any other way to do anything this turn. Right. Uh, so let's outwit from Brawn, sidestep on Venom Cyclops. Okay. And then Brawn will clear, mm -hmm. and then Storm will clear. All right. And that will be my turn. Let's go down in a blaze of glory. Okay. Um, Anome has sidestep. Okay. So she will sidestep one, two. Okay. Oh no, she can't do that because I would have to stop here, right? That's right. She could go one, oh, yeah. two. One. And two, yep. and pick up that object, mm -hmm. and she will swing it at Madame Hydra. Okay. So it's going to be eight on 17. Okay, eight on 17. Yeah. Oh, no, she's got combat reflexes. Oh, does she? That's a 19. Oh, no. Oh, well. Eight on 19. It. Eight on 19. So what do we need, an 11? 11. That's terrible. That's a, oh, 10. That's a 10. So close. That was close. Okay, object is gone. It was a good shot, though. It was worth a try. It was worth I, a try. I have no, not many options left, so. Yeah. I'm going to try to go down on a blaze of glory. Venom Cyclops will clear. Okay. You outwitted his sidestep, right? I did. So he's just sitting there like a sitting duck. Yep. Waiting, waiting to be charged upon. And uh, does Anome have any reducers? No. Okay. She's going to be dead now. Yeah. So turn to you. So she takes a poison. She takes a poison. She's gone. Yeah. Poison. Yay, poisoning. Okay, so what we have left is Venom Cyclops. He yep. can't be targeted with range, but... You can charge him. I can. I'm going to outwit his toughness. Mm -hmm. um, just because. And then I have my close combat back. You do. So I am going to charge. It's an 11 with 4 damage on 17. Yep. So I need a 6. You that got is a 6. It. You it win. It will be 4 damage. Good game. Good game. He only had 2 clicks left. Did he? Yep. Boom. Wow. Okay, that worked out pretty good. That was good. Especially once I changed my dice. Yeah, that was a fun little game. I like doing simple little one booster games. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah, 200 points is good. I mean, two to three actions worked mm -hmm. out really well. Mm -hmm. So I liked it. So that was so good. So I've used all my figures before. Yeah, um, but all mine were so new. So tell me about your figures. How did you like using these for the first time? I liked them a lot. Yeah. I'm sad I didn't get to use Beldon more. Yeah. And the only other thing that was a problem, not a problem, but... Braun, because he, uh, he so when he hits characters, he gives them a mobile, mm -hmm. except he just kept killing them. Yeah. So well. <laughs> so I mean, it's not really a problem <laughs> per much se. To complain about. But <laughs> it's you know it it would have been cool if we could have done the immobile thing. For sure. Um, Storm was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, Beldon didn't really get her time to shine, but Madame Hydra was pretty pretty good there with the combat reflexes yeah. and the poison and. It kind of all worked out. Those are those are good figures, and some of these get quite a big dial for yeah. the little amount of points you're spending. So yeah, and uh, Storm's rally is interesting. Mm -hmm. It would be better on a different map, perhaps, because any she can take her rally die off to mm -hmm. give a character within her range um, improved movement through elevation. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well that's our game for today. It is. And um, viewers, let us know what you thought in the comments below. And also you can reach out to us via email at dicestationzebra at gmail.com and Twitter at DS underscore zebra. And we're on the Facebook as well. So Those are all the places. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this single 
booster format. This is just the pre-sealed game series, like we mentioned. Yeah. Before we do our big 10 game series where we do two boosters each yep. per game. 300 point teams. Um, and we still have four more boosters, so we're going to do games B and game C. So watch for those soon. Yep, those will be out soon. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And we will see you again in sealed game B coming soon. Bye for now. Bye.